Hi friends, so good to see you again. <laughs> so I am out in nature near my house. Um, there is a stream over there um, and I have a basket. You can see I have this basket. It is a nature collecting basket. So <clears throat> Today, I wanted to teach you about collecting nature um, and some really, really important things about collecting nature um, is to keep, um, to be keepers of nature. And that means to take care of nature. Now, also nature likes to be collected as well. <laughs> so, um, there's a few different things I want to teach you, okay? And so <clears throat> one of those things is actually talking to the plants and the trees. So plants and trees have lots of things to say to us. And actually, when I'm walking, I will just go up to a tree <clears throat> and I'll put my hand on the tree and I will just breathe with the tree and see if it has anything to say to me. So this tree told me to be still, which I think means being peaceful. <laughs> so I'm gonna listen to this beautiful tree. Um, I don't know what kind of tree it is actually, um, but I might, I'll have to find out. I have a book where I have all the things. Um, and when collecting things that are alive, which I don't like to collect a lot of things that are alive because I think that they want to live. Um, but sometimes if there's a lot of the thing, then it might be okay to collect it. So for example, right here, this is something, a beautiful plant, but it's not, there's not that much of it. You can see, and the leaves are really pretty and I might even want to take the leaves but there's not that much of it, so I'm not going to. I also am noticing that these leaves look like they're dying. Let me show you a little bit closer. <clears throat> so they look like they're dying. They're actually not dying. What's happening is, is the plant is getting ready for winter. And what it does is all the green that's in the plant is called chlorophyll. And when plants and trees get ready for winter, they begin to pull the chlorophyll into the stems and down into the roots to keep it alive during the winter. <clears throat> so um, that is what is happening here. And I don't want to take this leaf because I know that this plant is pulling the chlorophyll, which is food, into the stems and down into the roots for winter. So that's something uh, to think about when you're collecting things. Um, and even over here, you can see there's a lot more of it. It's a lot more of this plant. Um, but I see that it's collecting the food. I see it's collecting its food for the winter. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna take it. So there are signs that I look for of the plant telling me like, yeah, you can collect me. And you know what? No, I'm getting my food for the winter or there's not that much of me. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> so, um, and also it's really, really interesting to kind of just sit in silence and connect with the plants. And maybe you hear things from them or feel things from them and maybe you don't. Um, but the biggest thing is to kind of just listen, just be a listener. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go on our collecting adventure. Okay, so one really cool thing I found, which took me a little while because I was busy and I kind of had to be quiet and I was talking to the plant and I found this amazing feather. Now, it's not really connected to anything. Nothing is using it. And so I am going to take this feather, put it in my basket. And I am going to continue on my way of collecting. Now, something that I know that I'm gonna need <clears throat> 
is some rocks for math in kindergarten. So I am going to collect 10 rocks. One, two, three, four, five. These are a little big. I wish they were smaller. <clears throat> Six. No, let's see. Seven. Eight. No, 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 nine. Nope. Nine. Ten. All right. <clears throat> so there, I've got my, some rocks and a feather. And I'm going to continue down on this path to see what else I can find. All right, something that I found that I thought was really cool is this leaf that was already fallen off of a plant. It didn't get all of its food or chlorophyll taken out of it, but that's okay. And I really like the colors, so I'm gonna do that. And you know what else I found? A piece of trash. Whenever I find trash, um, <clears throat> if I'm with an adult, I am the adult, but I'm telling you, if you're with an adult, um, you wanna tell them, and maybe you can even, when you do this activity, bring a trash bag with you and collect up some trash too, to throw away. I'm seeing some other cool leaves around here. That one's really cool. There's like an orange, a yellow stem. This has already fallen off. So I'm gonna put that in there and I am going to continue on. Oh, I see a spider web. Actually, it's hard to see, but it's right there. I'm not gonna collect the spider web. Okay, here I go. Continuing on looking for things. There are some cool leaves around here. Really like that one. I like these cause they're dry and they have like brown. I love the color brown. This is a really cool piece of bark. Um, it looks like it just got peeled off, like it was on something like that, and then just got peeled off. So there's my collection so far. I'm gonna keep looking for different things. You know, when you're collecting, you wanna go really slow, really slow. So here, there's more leaves that I like. So I'm going to collect those. Oh, did this just fall down on me? <laughs> oh, and here's some more brown leaves and they're already off the tree. So I'm going to put that there. And these, I wouldn't normally be like breaking these off because there's still a lot of life in them but these are already brown um, and there's not, they're broken off. They're not getting the food to the root. So I'm gonna take that, take these with me. Look at all this stuff I have already, which I'm really excited about because I'm gonna make something with it. And look, it looks like someone was already collecting some things out here on this path. <gasps> Ooh. So these leaves also already off. I don't have to pull them off, which I don't like pulling living things off of a plant. <clears throat> I'm gonna take these. Ooh, that's cool. Wow, the pattern on that leaf is beautiful. All right, friends. <laughs> so that was me just showing you how I collect nature. What I would love for you to do is to go out into nature yourself um, with an adult and maybe take a trash bag with you in case you find any trash um, and collect a few items of nature because we're gonna be doing some different things with these nature items. Um, we're learning how to respect the earth, take care of the earth, not take from living things. Um, pick up trash if there is some trash. Um, and also part of this is learning how to play and to be in nature with respecting it. Um, 
as kindergartners, we love to play with nature things. Um, and so it's really important for us to learn how to really connect with the earth, to talk to the trees, to talk to the plants and the leaves um, so that they can really help us and teach us how to play. And then we get these amazing nature collections, right? Which is something that I have in my basket here that we can do lots of things with. Um, so today was just a learning of how to connect or collect nature. I love you. Talk to you soon.